live from Gowanda High School, I'm Stu Boyer along with Tom Prince as we bring you college baseball today. The Hilbert Hawks against the Wells Express. And Tom, as it turns out, we've got a gorgeous day for baseball. Yeah, we really do. And that's uh, why well, we're definitely excited today. Um, we also want to do, actually, we want to throw a special shout out today that this game is actually brought to you by the Big Tree Inn and Orchard Park. So we really want to stress that out today. That's how we're able to come here today. We're just about ready to kick things off. So on the mound, we have right-hander Ronnie Mort. He will face the leadoff batter Max Odom. As we get set to get underway, Jimmy Salamone is the home plate umpire. Demetrius Rhodes is on the base pass. Mort works out of the stretch and fires. High and tight for a ball, ball one. Hilbert around the outfield. Connor Houck in left, Nolan Evans in right, Austin Hendricks, or Nolan Evans in center, Austin Hendricks in, in right. High fly ball into right field. The right fielder, Hendricks, is there and makes the catch for the first out of the ball game. Alex Ellison is at third, Jairo Santos at short. John Riviere Vejas at second, Patrick Wheeland at first, John Watson behind the plate, and as we mentioned, right-hander Ronnie Mort on the mound. And the batter now is the center fielder, Zach Odom, twin brother of the leadoff batter, Max Odom. The pitch, bouncing ball up the middle, gloved by the shortstop, has trouble getting it out of his glove, and the ball is dropped at first base. Santos double clutched. Threw it over to Whalen. The throw was low, and the runner is safe at first. You hate to say it, but that's going to be an error on that one right there. So we're going to give that error to the shortstop on the throw. I would have to say that, especially because you saw the time that he took to get it out of his glove. That would have to be probably exactly charged to the shortstop. Hilbert looks to turn two here. Jacoby James is the batter. And now Mort will step off. And Mort, one of our local players, he's a graduate of Niagara Wheatfield is where he went to school. Well, we got a bunch of them in this game, don't yeah, we? Yeah, we get excited as uh, we covered many of them in high school. Pitches off the outside corner, ball one, one and oh. Also a number of players in this game who you coached, and you know I love hearing about yeah, that. Yeah, we're going to talk about that. In fact, in game two, we're actually going to really talk about that as a starting pitcher right here in game two, someone that I actually got a good chance to coach. And a throw over to first and back safely with a dive, a short dive to Zach Odom. And as you can see, we're giving you the pitcher and pitcher right now. So you've got the opportunity to see the uh, runner on the base pass as well as what's going on at, pl at, the, at the plate. The pitch. He tried to check his swing and went around for a strike. Count goes to one and one. It was a delayed call there. I was waiting for him to make that call. I thought he was going to go out to Blue out in the field to uh, ask for help. The Wells Express from the Finger Lakes area of New York State. The pitch. Off the outside corner for a ball. It's two and one. Odom flew out to right fielder. Twin brother Zach Odom bounced to short. There was an error on the play. We have a runner in first with one away. The pitch down low. Throw down to first. They got him picked off. And he's going to get into second base. The throw gets away briefly. They had the runner Odom picked off, but he took off when Watson threw down to first. He saw the throw and took off and wound up with a stolen base. So some good base running there by Zach Odom. Mort on the season has actually pitched 20.2 innings. He's got a 3.05 ERA and a 1-3 in three record so far on the season. So Wells with a runner in scoring position. The pitch in there. Oh, he called ball four. No, 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 no he, he called it. He called the strike. That's what I thought. Mr. James thought that that was a ball, and he was going to head down to first base. But Mr. Salamone said, no, not so fast, my friend. Mort on the season, 17 strikeouts of the 20 innings that he's pitched. He could use one right here. Line foul down the right side off the netting. Full count on Jacoby James, the shortstop for Wells. Oh, 
Ronnie Moore checks with John Watson. Goes into the stretch. Odom leads from second. The pitch. Ball four. That one just missed. And there's runners at first and second with two with one away. Well, I got to be honest with you, that's a close pitch to take there in a full count. <laughs> yeah, I thought the same thing, too. I was like, wow, that was really, really close. So the catcher now, Aaron Izquierdo, is the batter. First and second, one away, the pitch. That's in there for a strike, nothing and one. And that's a great way, especially after a walk, right? Pump that zone. Go after the batter on that first pitch right there. I like that mentality. Mort trying to work out of a jam. The pitch in there for a strike, nothing in two. He fired that one in there right about the letters. I'm looking to go off the plate here, something high, really high in the zone and out of the zone right there. Either way, I'm going to look for either part of the plate is where I'm going to go. The stretch, the pitch, down low and away. Nice stop by Watson. Count goes to one and two. And obviously they were thinking the same thing, right? Go out of the zone. I think it was a little too far out of the zone, but I definitely like where they went with that one. Trying to get him to get himself out. Go reaching. Here's the one-two pitch. A line drive that is going to drop in into right field for a base hit, and everybody will move up a base, and the bases are loaded with one away. So runners at first, second, and third on the... Iske, Iske Erdo base hit, and now Mort is in a bigger jam, and he'll try to get the DH Cam Heyman, a left-handed batter, to perhaps bounce into a double play. Inning got off to a good start, a fly out, then there was an error, a walk, and a base hit, so Mort in a first inning jam. The pitch, high and away, ball one, one and oh. Left-handed batter. High foul out of play. Back over the backstop. Over where Tom and I are sitting. I'll tell you, I think Mort wants that one pitch back. He wanted that strike three called. It was so close. I don't know how he was able to take that pitch. The pitch. High pop-up foul. Back backstop, and that one will just get out of play. John Watson giving chase, but he had no chance of getting it. So more to head in the count here. One and two. Bases loaded, one out, top half of the first. Mort still working out of the stretch. The pitch. Off the outside corner for a ball. Count evens at two and two. I get a little worried with an outside pitch like that, because look at the hole between short and second. They're obviously playing for a double play right here. But when you go outside, a good hitter that could go opposite field can go right into that gap. Called strike three. He struck him out on the outside corner. Great pitch. I don't think Heyman thought it was a strike, but the man whose opinion matters said, yeah, that's a strike and you're mm -hmm. out of here. And the batter now is Lance Phillips. The third baseman. Two away, bases loaded. The pitch. On the outside corner for a strike, nothing and one. Boy, settled in nicely right after that. That's a, And I love the way that he's attacking those corners. In there for a strike. Took a little something off that one, and it's nothing in two. Mort takes his time. Here's the 0-2 pitch. He tried to check his swing and could not strike three, and Mort works out of it. Well done by Ronnie Mort. So the top half of the first inning comes to a close. No runs, one hit, one error, three men left on base. After one half inning of play, it's Wells nothing, Hilbert coming to bat. You're watching Hilbert College Baseball on Buffalo Sports Page.
Celebrating 50 years of business in Niagara County, Comfort Plastics manufactures a wide variety of consumer goods. You can buy our popular patio furniture at leisureaccents.com, our classic snow sleds at theretroracer.com, and know that all of our products are proudly made in the USA, and your purchase supports 150 hardworking families right here in Western New York. Comfort Plastics, a believer in the American dream. Learn more at ConfortPlastics.com or like us on Facebook. For the Hilbert Hawks, it'll be Patrick Whalen, Jack Duffick, and John Riviere set to face Jonathan Haynes, the right-hander from Wells. Here in the bottom half of the first inning, Ronnie Moore got in a bit of a jam and was able to pitch out of it for Hilbert in the top half of the first inning. Doubleheader baseball coming your way today on Buffalo Sports Page, Stu Boyer and Tom Prince. And so far today, a gorgeous day, bright blue skies, bright sunshine. And hopefully it lasts throughout the afternoon. <laughs> don't do your jinx with me. I don't want to jinx out here. Oh, that's right. Good point. I'm sorry. I'll have to slap myself. <laughs> Especially when I'm doing the producing and the, yes, and the color right out right. here. My apologies. <laughs> Good, sir. All right. For Wells in left field, Chris McLean, Zach Odom in center, John Valernotti in right, Lance Phillips at third, Jacoby James at short, Max Odom at second, Zach Young at first, Jonathan Haynes. Haynes on the mound, and Aaron Izio-Kierdo behind home plate, and the big left-handed batter, Patrick Whalen, steps into the batter's box. Whalen hitting 395 on the season so far. Low and in the dirt, bounces in there for a ball, 1-0. You can hear the chatter from both dugouts. And the right-hander fires. Foul out of play. Count evens at one and one. Whalen's got some power. He's gotten two home runs on the season. He's got 15 RBIs. He also has got a great eye. You'll see him. He can walk. He's got 12 walks on the season, too. The pitch. High and away. Ball two. He kind of crowds the plate a little bit there. That back or left foot is right on the line of the batter's box. You're seeing that more and more. As you and I have pointed that out in multiple games that we've done last season, you're seeing that more and more. The pitch, high and away, ball three, three and one on Whalen. And what batters are doing is they try to take away that inside pitch. That's one of the hardest pitches to throw because you are nervous about hitting that batter. And you can see sometimes it does get in the head of the pitcher. Ball four, he walked him, so Whelan starts the game with a base on balls. And that'll bring up the DH, Jack Duffick. Jack is having a pretty good year, I would say, if you look at that batting average. Oh, I love this kid. There's no doubt about it. He's hitting 400. This is one of the kids I've had an opportunity to coach, and he's been young. And, boy, this is he has grown up to be such an incredible young man. Everything about this young man is a kid you want on your team every day of the week. So pitches down low in the dirt, gets past the catcher. Whalen will head down to second base. And Hilbert has a runner on second with nobody out. He bounced that one in the dirt. Izio Chiardo had no chance to get that one. So runner at second with nobody out on what I'm going to call a wild pitch. Anytime I've had Duffick, even when he was younger, this is a kid you want up to bat. He has had a great bat ever since I watched the play since he was eight years old. He's a kid that was always in the middle of the lineup. The ball one pitch is inside and low. Ball two, two and zero. Oh. And you got it. You got to think he's sitting dead red right now. Is what he's looking for. He's looking for a fastball belt high to drive. The stretch and Haynes fires down low. Ball three, three and zero oh on Duffick. And we're gonna get a visit to the mound from the head coach as he doesn't like what he sees from his starting pitcher. Walked the first batter and then he's 3-0 and behind the second batter. I think he's only thrown one strike. So we'll have a little conversation at the mound. That's the Wells Express from the Finger Lakes area. The visiting team in today's doubleheader with the red jerseys and I guess you call them gray pants. Hilbert in the blue and the white pants. The Hawks. Tom and I had a chance to do some Hilbert basketball this year, and that was a lot of fun. 
men and women, yep, and, and now we're getting to do some baseball, which is, as you you all know, if you've ever listened to us. Ilker football, us. too. Yeah, well, yes, yep. yes. Although you and I didn't have a chance to do any of those games, you had a different connection to that. In the dirt for a ball, and their runners at first and second as he walks Duffick. Second walk of the game for Haynes. And this will bring up John Riviere, Vejas. And when you look at it, he's thrown so far nine pitches in this one. Eight of them are balls. That's a tough way to start a game. I'm know? sitting right now, and I'm looking for fastball. That's all I'm looking for, fastball belt high. Down low, ball one, one and oh. Well, Haynes struggling to find that strike zone. Obviously, Wells would like nothing better than to turn a double play here. The pitch. High and tight. Ball two, two and oh. Well, this is tough on the fielders, too, because oh. they want to be on their toes, yep. but all these balls are not help, helping anybody. Well, the team at bat. <laughs> Here's the 2 0 pitch. Down low, ball three, three and oh. Runners at first and second, nobody out, bottom of the first, scoreless. Haynes stretches and pitches. It gets past the catcher, goes all the way to the screen. Oh, it was ball four anyway, so. So the runners are at first, second, and third, and in three straight walks to start the game. So I gotta be honest with you, I think if the, caught, the catcher caught that one, it may have been a strike. I thought he was gonna call it a strike, and then I noticed uh, everybody stopped running and started yeah. jogging, and I'm like, oh, that had to be a ball then. So the batter now is Dustin Hendricks. Hendricks hitting 339 on the season with 18 RBIs. He leads the team in RBIs. Down low for a ball, one and oh. He's got a chance here to drive in some more. Look, maybe I'm trying to see down the right field line, see if they're getting somebody up. Yep, somebody's out there now. There's a pitch that's in there for a strike, and the count goes to one and one. I mean, 13 out of 15 pitches have been balls. It's something you've got to consider, at least start warming them up, just in case he doesn't have it today. The pitch. Foul back onto the screen, and the count goes to one and two. Well, both teams put runners on in the first inning. Wells was unable to score. We'll see how Hilbert does. Haynes stretches and pitches. Tries to check his swing and does not and strikes out. So that's the first out of the inning and the first strikeout for Haynes. Boy, are we going to watch both pitchers mirror what they did, right? <laughs> Load up the bases and then get themselves out of it. That's going to be what we're going to see if uh, Haynes can do the same thing as we just saw Mort do. Jairo Santos, and the ball bounces in the dirt, gets past the catcher. All the runners move up. Hilbert leads one to nothing. They bounce that one in the dirt, and Whalen comes around to score. Duffick to third, and Riviere Vejas to second. And now Jairo Santos with a ball one count. Now those bases on balls will kill you. The pitch. Line drive, fair ball into right field. That's a base hit. Two runs will score. Hilbert will take a three to nothing lead on the line drive single by Jairo Santos. Ripped it into right field. And it's 3-0 Hilbert, and there's a runner on first with just one away, and the batter now is center fielder Nolan Evans. Haynes fires down low and outside, ball one, one and oh. So Hilbert jumps out to the early lead. You keep throwing balls like that, right? What do they say? Walks, errors can hurt you every single time it happens. Throw over to first. Santos is back. <laughs> that, 
one of the leather lungs from the crowd with a good line. No, that, that was from the dugout is no, where it was. That was a good line, whatever whoever it was. The pitch, high, and high for a ball, 2-0. Oh. It's something that you hear in a lot of teams that do out there, and what they're trying to do is to get the pitcher to keep kind of throwing it over there is what they're doing. 3-0 Hilbert, one out, runner on first in the bottom half of the first inning. And there goes the runner. Throw down to second. It is not in time. It's a stolen base for Jairo Santos. And there's a runner at second with just one away. Two balls and one strike on Nolan Evans. Control has been an issue for Jonathan Haynes. It's the big reason he's behind 3-0 already. Haynes taking his time. Now he's into the stretch. The pitch. In there for a strike. Good pitch there. That look, I have to say, that's probably the best pitch he's thrown this inning. It, 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 there hasn't been many strikes, so, I <laughs> no, mean, you no. can see, absolutely, when he's throwing it there, he's just been very low in the zone today. The pitch. A little bit low, speaking of which. Santos gets his lead from second. Santos, the only hit of the inning, a two-run single. The pitch. Line foul down the right side and out of play. Haynes toes the rubber, stretches, and pitches. Down low, ball four. He walked him, and there are runners at first and second, and that is the fourth walk of the first inning. And now... I think they're looking down. I think Coach is looking down to see if his player's warm already. He took a good long look down at that bullpen down the right field fence. Now, this is a familiar name to Western New Yorkers. Connor Houck played at Lancaster on that. You and I did that spectacular. And there goes a runner from second. The pitch is high and tight. Throw down to third. Not in time. A double steal. Both runners move up. So now Hilbert being very aggressive has runners at second and third with just one away. You can see the jump he's getting right there. When you've got a pitcher right now that's struggling with the zone, they're more focused on home plate. And you saw that was why he got a jump the way he did. The pitch. High fly ball down the right side. Right fielder coming over, and he dropped the ball in foul territory. John Velenoti had a chance, got the glove on it, but dropped it, so it's a foul ball. And had he caught it, chances are that was going to be a sacrifice fly anyway, so maybe there's a silver lining in there for Wells, because I don't think he could have thrown him out at the plate from there. Do you? I, uh, listen, uh, not knowing his arm yeah. strength, I don't know, but we've seen speed on the base pass, so it would have been tough for you to gather and get that kind of you know, speed and velocity that you needed on a throw into the plate. High and tight for a ball. As I was saying, Connor Haug, familiar to our Western New York audience, he played at Lancaster. Tom and I, of course, doing that fabulous Lancaster, I believe it was Fairport game in the Far West Regionals last year. Extra innings, a one nothing game, great game. Pitches inside for a ball. Tough inning for Jonathan Haynes. He's walked four. Three of them have come around to score so far. Here's the pitch. Down low, ball four. Another walk as Houck heads down to first base. And once again, the bases are loaded. So, and let's see, we, and they're still looking down that right field line at the bullpen. You gotta remember, they may be trying to warm up a starter at this yeah, point. Right. So that's the reason why it will take them sometimes longer to warm up. Well, and they've got a, they got a double header today too. That's gonna, another thing, and the second one, nine innings long. Swing and a miss, Alex Ellison is behind in the count, nothing in one. 
but there's a reason why these teams go about, you know, 30 kids deep on this one, right? 30 young men deep, and the reason is is because you need pitching. The pitch in there for a strike, nothing in two. I mean, he's got 31 pitches right now, and again, give me a pitch, a count off here, but he's thrown about 31 pitches so far in this first inning. That's a lot of pitches. And there's still only one out. <laughs> and the bases are loaded with three in already. The pitch. A nice stop on the hop by Izyoki Erdo. That one bounced in the dirt. Stu, it's, it, he's overthrowing is ultimately the best way to explain it, right? You try to give a little bit extra on that throw, and that's what you see sometimes. Here's the pitch. It bounces in the dirt, gets past the catcher, and everybody will move off their respective bases, but they'll go back. It didn't get away far enough for anyone to advance. I really shouldn't say dirt, it's turf. <laughs> the brown stuff will yeah. mimic as dirt. Right there, yeah, you yeah. can say that, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. It's a gorgeous diamond here at Gowanda. Yeah, one of the one of the real nice ones. And it, and we're seeing more and more come about in western New York, but this is one of the nicer ones. Inside for a ball. So if this was two outs, you'd see the base runners on the run on this pitch, but obviously still an out, so they can't take off on this one. Haynes. The pitch. Hop foul back out of play. There's been a lot of action here in the first inning for both teams. Fortunately for Hilbert, they scored. Unfortunately for Wells, they didn't. They had a great opportunity, too. That base is loaded right. One out, two it was. Yes. Here's the pitch. Ball four. He walked him, and he walked in a run to make it four to nothing. And the base on balls just killing Haynes. Yeah, and you're going to see. They just sent someone down to the bullpen to see if he's ready. I think I really thought that was going to be the last batter if there was a walk or a hit or anything on that one. You got to think he's not going to be in here much longer at this point. This has got to be his last batter unless he gets an out. Four to nothing now. John Watson in the bat is the batter, and the bases are still loaded. The pitch down low for a ball. One and zero. Oh. He, now he's he's when this half inning is over, unless he gets a double, he's going to be awfully close to forty pitches. He's at thirty-seven right now. Oh, thirty-seven. Okay. And here's the ball one pitch. High ball two two and zero. Oh. I mean, at this point, you're a hitter, Stu. You're thinking of a, a little box about this big. That's all you're looking for for that pitch. If that pitch isn't there, I'm not swinging at it right now. Here's the 2-0 pitch. Bounces in the dirt. Throw down to first. Close play, but they did not get him. Well, is Yokierdo fired down to first baseman Zach Young, who put the tag on Ellison, but he was back safely. And everyone didn't see me make that little box, but the box probably is about, would be a belt buckle, is about the size of what that box would be. The pitch, bounced in the dirt. That one bounces away from the catcher. Everybody will move up, and it's a five to nothing game. So Haynes, and I think that's gonna do it for Haynes as Nolan Evans scores. And, and Hilbert just batted around, because Whalen's yeah. about to come up to the plate right now. Yeah, now he's got a yep. chance to drive in some more runs. All right, I think, with a five to nothing lead, Hilbert on top here in the bottom of the first. I think we'll take a quick break and we'll be back after we remind you you're watching Hilbert College Baseball on Buffalo Sports Page. The financial guys, right on, right on, right on the money. Celebrating 50 years of business in Niagara County, Comfort Plastics manufactures a wide variety of consumer goods. You can buy our popular patio furniture at leisureaccents.com, our classic snow sleds at theretroracer.com, and know that all of our products are proudly made in the USA, and your purchase supports 150 hardworking families right here in Western New York. Comfort Plastics, a believer in the American dream, Learn more at ComfortPlastics.com or like us on Facebook. 
we're back at Gowanda. Right-hander Zach Kronk is the new pitcher for Wells. Hilbert up five to nothing. And we're back at the top of the batting order. Patrick Whelan, who, Whelan, excuse me, who walked to start the inning. One, two, three, four, five. I have six walks in the first inning. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. Like I said, we had 40 pitches for, uh, for him. Well, Kronk will come in and try to stop the bleeding here. And if you think about it, five runs on one hit. Yeah. Right? And that one hit was the line drive that went over to the right fielder over there. Well, that's called getting the most out of your hit. That's exactly <laughs> it. <laughs> Waylon, the batter, as I mentioned, he walked his first time up. So, left-handed batter. Pitches outside for a ball. Base is still loaded, by the way. Tell you, the only thing that, that Hilbert may be thinking at this point is, boy, it's going to be tough. Mort's been sitting for a while. Yeah. That may have been him that they sent out to the uh, bullpen to warm up a little bit more. You're probably right. It's been a very long bottom half of the first inning. And it's still not over. There's still only one out. And, and, and you got the meat of your lineup coming up right now, some of your big sticks. Uh, that's low for a ball. Ball two, two and oh. The pitch, that's in there for a strike on the inside corner, two and one. The pitch, inside, ball four, excuse me, it was three and one. I mean, for the second time in the game, Waylon walks. This time though, he gets an RBI and it's six to nothing. And the bases are still loaded. And bases loaded. Two, three, four. That's up right now. Right where you want in the lineup. This is something where you could really break it open right now. You know Duffick. He's looking for that fastball right now to sit on that first pitch fastball. In there for a strike. Nothing in one. I may have jumped on that one. Wow. <laughs> it's already a 6 nothing lead for Hilbert. That's low for a ball, count evens at one and one. I'm already out of room on the score sheet. They batted around. Boy, thank God I bought you a new book to start things yes, off. Yes, yes, <laughs> thank you, is right. I don't know what to do though. I'm like, well, the pitch. Up a little high, two and one. Six to nothing, Hilbert in the bottom half of the first inning. The pitch, three and one, ball three. You know, the same thing we're talking about, uh, again, you know, Kronk's come in, he really hasn't been able to find the zone. Here's the pitch. That's on the outside corner for a strike. Great spot, but you can see even that was off the plate a little bit, right? This is something where you're almost wondering if Blue's opening the zone up a little bit. Three and two now on Duffick. Here's the pitch. Ball four, he walked him. Oh my. And it's seven to nothing. At one point, I hate to say this, Stu, you're going to just need to ride somebody. Yeah. Right? You just need to ride somebody that's going to get you to throw strikes right now. Yep. Somebody's going to have to take one for the team, I guess. With that, with that, I guess I would put it that way. Seven nothing in the batter now. John Riviere Vejas. Strike one, nothing in one. Thank you. The pitch. Strike two, nothing in two. He did wind in the zone there just a little bit. That's the first time we've had a we've, two. Because he's had, you know what I mean, a tighter zone. You know what I mean is what it's been. But he's been very consistent with that zone. But that was a little bit out of it. Line drive right at the second baseman, bobbles it, flips to second for one. No throw to first, but they do get the out. So it's a four to six put out. And I believe a run scored, so it's now eight to nothing. Eight to 
And there's two away in the inning, and the batter now is Dustin Hendricks, who struck out his first time up. Runners at first and third. Eight runs in at the bottom of the first. Still on just the one hit. Yeah. Two run single by Jairo Santos. Not only that, I even want to say it's only three balls been even put into play. Uh, that one, the base hit, and I don't remember a third one, but throw. So, okay, so first. two balls put into play. Uh, unofficially, <laughs> yes. Wow. That's a tough inning. Here's the pitch to Hendricks. High and away, ball one, one and oh. You know, and the one thing that you always say as a pitching coach is that first pitch strike, that is the key. I don't care how you get it, but that first pitch strike is a must. Throw over to first, he's back safely. Just pound that strike zone, because that gives you the advantage right away if you can get ahead in the count like that. Here's the pitch. Foul back out of play. Hendricks struck out his first time up, throw over to first, he's back safely. You can see he's worried about that speed. He doesn't want that runner in scoring position. Think about that. He gets in scoring position to base hit. We're talking about double digits right there. The pitch. On the outside corner for a strike. You know Hendricks does not want to strike out twice in the same inning. There goes a runner from first swing and a miss. Strike three, he struck him out. And that will bring the top hand, bottom of the first for Hilbert to a close. They score eight times, leave two men on. And at the end of one inning of play, it's Hilbert eight, Wells nothing. We want to remind everybody this game is being brought to you by the Big Tree Inn. And you are watching Hilbert College Baseball on the Buffalo Sports page. Celebrating 50 years of business in Niagara County, Comfort Plastics manufactures a wide variety of consumer goods. You can buy our popular patio furniture at leisureaccents.com, our classic snow sleds at theretroracer.com, and know that all of our products are proudly made in the USA, and your purchase supports 150 hardworking families right here in Western New York. Comfort Plastics, a believer in the American dream. Learn more at ConfortPlastics.com or like us on Facebook. First pitch of the inning is fouled off by Zach Young. Nothing in one. Ronnie Moore at fires. High fly ball will hit to center field. Going back, still going back. It's off the fence. Nolan Evans couldn't bring that one in, and that'll be a double to start the top half of the second inning for Zach Young. Runner at second and nobody out. Hardest hit ball of the day. By either team. Yes. And that'll bring up John Valenotti, the right fielder, as Wells tries to get back into this one. Hilbert put up an eight spot in the bottom of the first. And right now, they have more hits than Hilbert's got. <laughs> I, I never thought of that. Oh, my. <laughs> You're on fire today, Tom. <laughs> Here's the pitch. Foul back onto the backstop. Nothing and one on Jan, John Velenotti. See, we got two camera angles going for you. I hope that helps. You normally don't get a chance to see the runners on the base path at the same time. You're getting a chance to see both happening right now. Bellinote awaits the pitch from Ronnie Mort. And here it is. In there for a strike. I think he thought that one was a little inside, but a great pitch to back him off the plate. Then it broke back over the plate, and it's nothing in two. 
Mort fires. A little high, a little tight. One count goes to one and two. Tough pitch to take right there. I mean, for Mort, he's pitching with an eight run lead, so just throw strikes. The pitch. Foul back onto the screen. Count holds at one and two. Easy for me to say, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Mort works out of the stretch. The one-two pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. He struck him out. Beautiful pitch there. Great off speed. Did you see how he really did take enough off that one? He was way out in front of that. Runner on second, one out. Chris McLean, McLean is the left fielder, and he is the batter. That was his 29th pitch. Oh, and the other guy had 40 in the first inning? Wells, the first inning, had 58 pitches total for the first inning. Oh, wow. The pitch inside for a ball, 1-0. and oh. That is one tough inning. And it's not like baseballs were flying all over the diamond We've either. got three hits. I mean, unofficially, I got three hits in this game right now. Yep. Just off the outside corner for a ball, 2-0. and oh. See, that's that pitch. Remember that last inning that, you know what I mean? It was, yeah. it, you know, it's that borderline pitch right there. I do like the call. I love going to the outside corner there. That one's in there for a strike. We're in the top of the second. Hilbert leads this one eight to nothing. Big eight run first inning for the Hawks. The pitch, swing and a miss. Big swing and a miss for a strike. He really has adjusted nice to when base runners get on. Really has found the zone and really has found that outside corner. The pitch. Ooh, he backs him off. And the count goes full at three and two. Young gets his lead from second. The pitch. Bouncing ball towards short. Glove by the shortstop. Throw over to first is in time. And the runner has to hold. Jairo Santos to Patrick Whalen for the out. There are two away. That ball wasn't hit all that hard, so he didn't have a lot of time once he fielded it. So you want a great story? Yeah, I love when great When I stories. was younger, I used to coach against Mort out here on the mound, right? Oh, okay. You want to know who his head coach was? Sure. His dad was one of the coaches, but his head coach, Johnny Haynes over at Kenmore West. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh, high fly ball, well hit to left field. But the left fielder is there, and Connor Houck puts it away to end the inning. Max Odom gave it a ride, but nothing doing. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left after an inning and a half. It is Hilbert 8, Wells nothing. And you are watching Hilbert Hawks baseball being brought to you by the Big Tree Inn. You're watching baseball on Buffalo Sports Page. Logistics Plus is a global transportation provider headquartered in Erie, PA, with locations worldwide, including right here in Western New York. Logistics Plus is consistently recognized as a fast-growing transportation and logistics company, great supply chain partner, top freight broker, leading project cargo manager, and a great place to work. With a strong passion for excellence, our 500-plus employees put the plus in logistics. For an efficient, personal approach for all of your transportation needs, more information about our Buffalo office is available at logisticsplus.com slash buffalo. Western New York Immediate Care's new locations are now open. Whether you've suffered a minor injury or just aren't feeling well, Western New York Immediate Care provides safe, quick, high-quality care at an affordable cost. Our clinicians are trained to diagnose and treat non-life-threatening injuries and illnesses and are equipped with on-site x-ray and labs to help you feel better, faster. With four convenient locations open seven days a week, Western New York Immediate Care is here to help when and where you need us. Visit us online to learn more. Iro Santos leads off for Hilbert. He had a two-run single in that eight-run first inning. Line drive. Into left center field. That'll drop for a base hit. Jairo Santos is two for two on the day with two singles. And he had nobody to drive in that time, but another solid line drive base hit for Santos. Santos hitting 348 on the year, too. So 
you can see he's having a good year to start also. Nolan Evans is the batter. Santos gets his lead from first. The pitch is in there for a strike. Nothing in one. Zach Kronk on in relief of the starter. Jonathan Haynes throw over to first. Santos is back in plenty of time. The pitch in there for a strike. That off speed is starting to work for, for him out on the mound. You can see, and especially when you see it break and just catch that outside corner, you're going to see them go farther outside here and try to get the strikeout. That's up high for a ball. I want to remind everyone that the way the schedule works, this is a scheduled seven-inning game. The second game is a scheduled nine-inning game. We're in the bottom of the second here with Hilbert up eight to nothing. The pitch down low for a ball. And Jairo Santos, who's two for two on the day, the runner on at first base with nobody out here in the bottom of the second. Nolan Evans awaits the pitch. Called strike three. That one caught the outside corner. And there's one away. I was waiting for that one. You can see he, he's got a little bit of a delayed strike three, but when you saw that step back happen, you knew it was coming. Connor Houck is the batter. He walked and scored in that eight-run first inning. Connor's hitting 283 on the season. The pitch. Chopped slowly down the third base mine. Gloved by the third baseman. The throw to first is in time for the out. Lance Phillips over to Zach Young. Runner Santos goes to second, and there are two away. The batter now is Alex El Ellison, who, well, here's a shock, walked and drove in a run in that top half of the first inning. That was a tough inning for Wells. Great for Hilbert, just tough for Wills. Wells. Alex Ellison, the batter. Santos gets a good lead off of second. Here's the pitch. Line drive into right center field, and it'll drop in for a base hit. It's nine to nothing, Hilbert Ellison. Chugs into second base with an RBI double. Santos scores. Nine to nothing. That's the second hit of the inning. Well, we had more more uh, more hits in the second inning than we did in the eight-run yeah, first. <laughs> it's true. So there's two away. A runner on second. A batter now is the catcher, John Watson, who walked in the first. Nine to nothing, Hilbert in front. That's a pitch on the outside corner, nothing and one. The pitch, chop foul down the third baseline. Kronk, out of the stretch, Ellison leads from second to pitch. High and away, that's a ball. The pitch, high fly ball into center field. Center fielder puts the glove up to protect from the sun and makes the catch. Zach Odom puts it away. And the inning is over. One run, two hits, no errors, and a man left on base. After two complete, it is Hilbert nine, Wells nothing. Hilbert College baseball being brought to you by the Big Tree Inn here on the Buffalo Sports page. Logistics Plus is a global transportation provider headquartered in Erie, PA, with locations worldwide, including right here in western New York. Logistics Plus is consistently recognized as a fast-growing transportation and logistics company, great supply chain partner, top freight broker, leading project cargo manager, and a great place to work. With a strong passion for excellence, our 500-plus employees put the plus in logistics. For an efficient, personal approach for all of your transportation needs, more information about our Buffalo office is available at logisticsplus.com slash buffalo.
Western New York Immediate Care's new locations are now open. Whether you've suffered a minor injury or just aren't feeling well, Western New York Immediate Care provides safe, quick, high-quality care at an affordable cost. Our clinicians are trained to diagnose and treat non-life-threatening injuries and illnesses and are equipped with on-site x-ray and labs to help you feel better, faster. With four convenient locations open seven days a week, Western New York Immediate Care is here to help when and where you need us. Visit us online to learn more. Top half of the third inning, Hilbert up nine to nothing in this one. They had eight runs in the first inning, one in the second. And Wells will have Jack Odom, Jacoby James, and Aaron Izquierdo. The first three batters scheduled to face Ronnie Mort. So Mort with a big nine-run lead here in the top of the third. Odom, his first time up, was safe on an error by the shortstop and did steal a base. But so far, Wells has not been able to touch Mort for any runs. Odom's out of Elmira, not far from here. Some of the sections we call, he's actually hitting 373 on the season. Off to a good start, takes a strike, nothing in one. The pitch. A high hopper that's gonna sneak into right field for a base hit. Didn't hit it hard, just hit that one in the right spot. And it's a base hit to start the third for Zach Odom. The batter now is shortstop Jacoby James as Hilbert will look for the double play. Jacoby James, only a sophomore, hitting 444 Ooh. on the season. Wow, he walked his first time up. Right-handed batter. Odom gets a short lead from first. The pitch. Well, high and tight for a ball, 1-0. He actually comes to us by uh, from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Cardinal Gibbons High School. Throw over to first, and he's back safely. Is Odom. Runner at first, nobody out. Top of the third, 9 nothing. Hilbert. Mort out of the stretch. The pitch, foul on a play off to the right, back into the trees. Yeah, that jump like he was going, right? He did. And sometimes you're doing that as a runner just to throw off the cadence of the pitcher is what you're trying to do there. Mord into the stretch, the pitch. In there for a strike. I tell you, Mort's off-speed stuff may be what's been, you know what I mean, his best pitch so far today. Mort looks in at Watson. Working deliberately now, checks yeah. the runner at first. Throw over there, and he's back standing. You know, they're worried about him taking off, but boy, I'll tell you, one of his off-speed pitches right on that outside corner would be where I'd look him to go right here especially to get that first out of the inning. There's the pitch. Foul down the right side, out of play. Jacoby James awaits the pitch from Ronnie Mort. Here it comes. Ooh, that one just missed. Maybe a little bit low for a ball. Had a pretty good eye to lay off that, that was, one. It, it was a little bit low, but like we always say, is that two strikes to me, you know what I mean? You're trying to open that zone just enough because you don't want the to put the, you know what I mean, the at-bat in the umpire's hands. Bouncing ball down the third baseline, just foul. Well, a few feet the other way. Well, I'll tell you what, Alex Ellison made a great effort. He couldn't get a glove on it. It was a foul ball anyway. I was about to say a few feet further the other way. May have been a double, but, Alli but Ellison probably would have gloved it, so who knows. Either way, it's a foul ball, and Jacoby James will await the next, next pitch. And here it is. Bouncing ball to short, gloved by Santos to second for one, back to first, in time for the double play. That's how you do it. The Hilbert Hawks turn two, and there are two away with nobody on base. Well done. 
Yeah, that's one. When you got that one right to you, you better make sure come up clean. That's what you're making sure you do. Remember, you're not going to get that crazy hop here on the turf, so you're looking to stay down on the ball so you can easily make that double play right there. Two outs and nobody on. Jairo Santos to John Riviere Vejas to Patrick Whalen. And here's the pitch down low to the catcher, Aaron Izquierdo. And he got a base hit his first time up. Aaron's hitting 365 on the season. He's the senior. Oh, he hit that one off uh, Mort's foot, and it goes out to shortstop. That'll be a base hit, though. And hopefully, Mort's okay. That hit him on. on the, look, the, it sounded like the foot is yeah, where it, it hit it him. It did hit him on the foot. And it'll be a base hit, though. And Izquierdo is two for two on the day. And that double play looms that much bigger. You know, Mort appears to be just fine. That's the second hit of the inning. And the batter now is the DH Cam Heyman, who was called down on strikes his first time up. Heyman's the junior hitting 286 on the season. Left-handed batter. He's from Windsor, California. Wow. I always wonder how people find school so far away. Chop toward the second glove by Whelan, the first baseman. He'll throw to Santos at short. Nice play there by Whelan. I thought he was going to try to get to the pitcher covering, but he kept the play in front of him nicely, and that will retire the side. No runs, two hits, no errors, and one man left on base. After two and a half, it's Hilbert nine, Wells nothing. Hilbert College baseball is being brought to you by the Big Tree Inn here on Buffalo Sports Page. Celebrating 50 years of business in Niagara County, Comfort Plastics manufactures a wide variety of consumer goods. You can buy our popular patio furniture at leisureaccents.com, our classic snow sleds at theretroracer.com, and know that all of our products are proudly made in the USA, and your purchase supports 150 hardworking families right here in Western New York. Comfort Plastics, a believer in the American dream. Learn more at ConfortPlastics.com or like us on Facebook. It's 9 nothing Hilbert as we start the bottom half of the third inning. And Patrick Whalen will be the leadoff batter for Hilbert, and he has walked both times today. Left-handed batter, powerfully built. Pitches in there for a strike, nothing in one. The wind up in the pitch. Swung on, foul tipped at the plate, nothing in two. One of the few times a Hilbert hitter's been behind in the count all day today. Big left-handed batter, powerfully built. Kronk winds it up and fires. Outside for a ball, one and two. The pitch. Bouncing ball takes a high hop off the mound. Glove nicely by the shortstop. Throws to first in time. Jacoby James with a nice play. Not fooled by that hop. A tough hop there, and there's one away. So for the first time today, Patrick Whalen is retired. The better now is Jack Duffick. He's also walked twice and drove in a run with his second walk. Kronk fires. A little high, a little outside. 1-0, ball one. Oh, 
the pitch. Down low, 2-0. Stu Boyer along with Tom Prince, Russ Battaglia on camera today. High pop-up, way up high in the air. Shallow center field. Center fielder coming on and makes the catch, calling Jacoby James off is Zach Odom. And there are two away here in the bottom of the third. Better now is the second baseman, John Riviere Vejas, who has walked his first time and got a run batted in on a force play in the third inning. Here's the pitch. High fly ball, shallow left field. Left fielder coming on and makes the catch to retire the side. Chris McClain, three up, three down. No runs, no hits, no errors. And nobody left on base for Hilbert in the bottom of the third. After three complete, the Hilbert Hawks lead the Wells Express nine to nothing. You're watching Hilbert Hawks baseball brought to you by the Big Tree Inn on Buffalo Sports Page. Celebrating 50 years of business in Niagara County, Comfort Plastics manufactures a wide variety of consumer goods. You can buy our popular patio furniture at leisureaccents.com, our classic snow sleds at theretroracer.com, and know that all of our products are proudly made in the USA, and your purchase supports 150 hardworking families right here in Western New York. Comfort Plastics, a believer in the American dream, Learn more at ConfortPlastics.com or like us on Facebook. Lance Phillips leads it off for Wells here in the top of the fourth, and he takes a breaking ball on the inside corner for a strike. It's nothing in one. Phillips struck out his first time up. He was struck out swinging. Here's the pitch from Ronnie Moore. Bouncing ball, gloved by the third baseman. Throw over to first is high, caught by Whelan, and he puts the tag on him to retire the batter Phillips on the uh, nice play there by Alex Ellison and Patrick Whalen made the play at the other end of the diamond. So there's one away. Nice play by Whalen to get the tag on him. And there's one away with nobody on and a batter now is first baseman Zach Young. He got a base hit his first time up. The pitch. Foul out of play over the backstop. Nothing in one on Young. I always wonder how players find a school. Like you live in California and you find Wells in central New York. How do you do that? Well, sometimes it's just you're at an event, right, where yeah. the coaches happen to be at. And there are some of these events now. You go to the colleges and there's 20 colleges there. High fly ball, shallow right field. Right fielder coming on. Puts the glove up and makes the catch, does Austin Hendricks, Dustin Hendricks, and there are two away. Looked like that ball popped out of the glove just for a yeah. second there. And, and obviously the sun is right behind us, so you can know that's just beating on some of those outfielders' eyes. So two away, nobody on base. For John Valenuti, the right fielder, he struck out swinging his first time up. We're in the top of the fourth, nine to one, Hilbert, nine to nothing. Bouncing ball. Loved by the shortstop, Ellison bobbles it, fires to first, and not in time there. So he, Ellison picked it up, bobbled it. It's a third baseman who actually came across and picked it up. Ellison, right? I thought you said shortstop, I'm sorry. No, 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 I said Ellison, but. My fault. That's okay. Um, anyway, they, they, they have a base runner. And I don't know if we're going to call that a hit or an error. I would call that an error. Uh, so would I, but I'd like to get your opinion because sometimes we don't always see things eye to eye on that. Big swing and a miss by Chris McLean. 
So that's an error, and they have a runner in first with two down. Trailing nine to nothing is Wells. Ronnie Mort into the windup. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Nothing in two on McLean, who bounced out to the shortstop his first time up. And here's the pitch. Just off that outside corner. I don't know how that was off the corner, but... Yeah. It's a tough pitch. I mean, yeah. I, it's a tough pitch to hit, and it's a tough pitch to see for a hitter, right? But that was a perfectly pace, placed pitched right there by Moore. I love the spot. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going right back there again. One and two now. The pitch. Called yeah, strike I was three. Say. <laughs> I, was, I was waiting. I was, like, I was oh. waiting on that one. <laughs> I, I was sitting there thinking... Wait a second, he didn't call that a strike, mm -hmm. and then he has that very deliberate yep. third strike call. Well, that'll do it for Wells in the top of the fourth. No runs, no hits, one error, one man left on base. After three and a half, it's Hilbert nine, Wells nothing. Hilbert College Baseball is being brought to you by the Big Tree Inn here on Buffalo Sports Page. Logistics Plus is a global transportation provider headquartered in Erie, PA, with locations worldwide, including right here in Western New York. Logistics Plus is consistently recognized as a fast growing transportation and logistics company, great supply chain partner, top freight broker, leading project cargo manager, and a great place to work. With a strong passion for excellence, our 500 plus employees put the plus in logistics. For an efficient personal approach for all of your transportation needs, more information about our Buffalo office is available at logisticsplus.com slash buffalo. Western New York Immediate Care's new locations are now open. Whether you've suffered a minor injury or just aren't feeling well, Western New York Immediate Care provides safe, quick, high-quality care at an affordable cost. Our clinicians are trained to diagnose and treat non-life-threatening injuries and illnesses and are equipped with on-site x-ray and labs to help you feel better, faster. With four convenient locations open seven days a week, Western New York Immediate Care is here to help when and where you need us. Visit us online to learn more. Hilbert leading this one nine to nothing. Dustin Hendricks, who has struck out twice swinging both times, leads off for the Hawks here in the bottom of the fourth. And the pitch is low and outside for a ball, 1-0. and oh. Hilbert with eight in the first and one in the second. The pitch. Line drive caught by the first baseman. Nice play by Zach Young at first base. And there's one away on the hard hit ball. You now Jairo Santos, who's two for two on the day, with two runs batted in, is the batter. So far, Wells has been unable to retire Santos. Takes the ball, low and away, 1-0. and oh. I'll tell you, our poor cameraman's looking right into the sun to try to find the ball every time it's hit off one of the player's bats right here. High pop-up, foul and out of play. And that, that man is Russ Battaglia, the uber-talented photographer. And if he can't find the ball, nobody can. <laughs> The pitch. And he appealed for the to the first uh, for the base umpire and he said yes, that's a strike. He did not check his swing. Here's the pitch to Santos. High fly ball. Center fielder getting underneath it. Puts the glove up and makes the catch, and they're two away as Zach Odom gets the put out. Two up, two down, and the batter now will be Nolan Evans, who walked and scored in the first and was called out on strike. Strikes in the second inning. Nolan's actually hitting 281 on the season. 10 RBIs, he's got a homer himself. He'll take the ball, 1-0. and oh. Here's the pitch. Foul out of play off to the right side. Now, this game was originally scheduled to be played at Hilbert, but I'm assuming they shifted it because of weather and field conditions. It was supposed to be tomorrow, right. too. So they shifted it here today. Try to get the, this look like one of the nicest days of the week. That's up high for a ball. And so far, it's a beautiful day. It really is. I brought all my winter gear. 
That's a strike on the outside corner. I think the Wells bench thought that was a little bit outside. Uh, excuse me, that would have been Hilbert, Hilbert one, yeah. bench. Here's the pitch. Called strike three and the inning is over. Three up and three down, no runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left. After four complete, Hilbert nine, Wells nothing. Hilbert College Baseball is being brought to you by the Big Tree Inn on Buffalo Sports Page. Logistics Plus is a global transportation provider headquartered in Erie, PA, with locations worldwide, including right here in Western New York. Logistics Plus is consistently recognized as a fast-growing transportation and logistics company, great supply chain partner, top freight broker, leading project cargo manager, and a great place to work. With a strong passion for excellence, our 500-plus employees put the plus in logistics. For an efficient, personal approach for all of your transportation needs, more information about our Buffalo office is available at logisticsplus.com slash buffalo. Western New York Immediate Care's new locations are now open. Whether you've suffered a minor injury or just aren't feeling well, Western New York Immediate Care provides safe, quick, high-quality care at an affordable cost. Our clinicians are trained to diagnose and treat non-life-threatening injuries and illnesses and are equipped with on-site x-ray and labs to help you feel better, faster. With four convenient locations open seven days a week, Western New York Immediate Care is here to help when and where you need us. Visit us online to learn more. Top half of the fifth inning, nine to nothing, Hilbert. Max Odom leads off. Takes the pitch a little bit off the outside corner for a ball, 1-0. and oh. The pitch, foul right back over our head. The count evens at 1-1. One and one. You know, even more after his first inning. He had a high pitch count in the first inning. He's only sitting at 60 pitches right now. The pitch, bouncing ball toward third. Ellison gloves it, fires across the diamond in time for the first out of the inning. Whalen down the receiving end of the throw. One out. Better now is Zach Odom, the center fielder. <laughs> One out, nobody on. Ronnie Mort works out of the stretch and fires. Swing and a miss. Nothing in one. Odom, his first time up, was safe on an error by Santos, he got a base hit in the third, so he's one for two on the day. Here's the pitch, a little bit low for a ball. Boy, it's been his off-speed stuff, though. That's been really his recipe for success. The pitch, bouncing ball toward short, glove by Santos on the back end, throw is in time and dug out of the dirt nicely by Whalen. That's a great play on the back end. Yeah, Whalen saved, it's literally saved what could possibly have been an error and a runner on second base, too. Two up and two down, so Mort's defense helping him out behind him. Better now is Jacoby James, and he walked, and then he banged into a 6-4-3 double play his last time up in the third. Here's the pitch. Inside for a ball, 1-0. A little bit of a breeze now. You can hear that in your headsets. It really has. It's like changing, though. The weather's constantly changing here. The pitch. A little bit. Oh, he called that a strike. Count one and one. The pitch. That one bounces in the dirt, gets back to the screen. Count goes to two and one. Just overthrew that one a little bit. Ronnie Mort looking to complete the one, two, three inning if he can do it. Here's the pitch. Outside for a ball. Now Mort ready to go. He, he doesn't waste any time between pitches. The pitch. Bouncing ball, a diving stop by the second baseman to throw to first is in time. What a play 
John Riviere Vejas dives toward the first base bag, gets up and throws him out to end the inning. I want to make a point of what you said. The tempo of your pitcher. Very, very important to your fielders. Your fielders love a fast tempo pitcher. You're not standing there. You're ready to go all the time to be able to get that ball, make that play, do what you have to do. Much easier for your fielders to stay in the game mentally. So after four and a half, it is Hilbert nine, Wells nothing. Hilbert College Baseball is being brought to you by the Big Tree Inn on Buffalo Sports Page. Celebrating 50 years of business in Niagara County, Comfort Plastics manufactures a wide variety of consumer goods. You can buy our popular patio furniture at leisureaccents.com, our classic snow sleds at theretroracer.com, and know that all of our products are proudly made in the USA, and your purchase supports 150 hardworking families right here in Western New York. Comfort Plastics, a believer in the American dream. Learn more at ConfortPlastics.com or like us on Facebook. Bottom half of the fifth inning, Connor Houck leads off for the Hilbert Hawks with a 9-0 lead. Zach Cronk came on in relief of Jonathan Haynes. Houck takes a ball in the dirt, and it's 1-0. He has walked and bounced out to the third baseman. That one's outside, 2-0. Well, control was an issue for the starter, Jonathan Haynes. Kronk has been better. The pitch. Bouncing ball towards short. Little backhanded by the shortstop. Jacoby James throws to first, not in time. Hauk beats it out. An infield hit for Hauk using his speed. That was a tough play for the shortstop. He had to backhand it. And yeah, that was in the hole. No, throw. and he ran it out. He tried to use the turf to his advantage. That's why you want to do that skip throw, right? That'll help, especially the way it comes off this turf, skip it, gets you a little more speed. Great play, just unfortunately wasn't enough, as you saw Hauk showed his speed down to first base. Alex Ellison is the batter. Breaking ball for a strike, nothing in one. Hauk gets his lead off of first. Here's the pitch to Ellison. Brett foul down the third baseline for a strike. <laughs> Nothing in two on the batter. Ellison. Got a base hit and a run batted in. Throw over to first. Hauk is back in plenty of time. Ellison walked and drove in a run in the first and got a base hit and drove a run in the second. Drove in a run in the second. Ooh, just off the outside corner there. You could hear the Wells bench. They wanted that one. I don't blame them. You know what I mean? Yeah, and especially no. there, you want to really try to get in. And you don't have many more at-bats, and you want to use them to your advantage. Throw over to first. Hauk back with the dive. Johnny Kronk settled since that second inning, right? Because he came in ultimately right there, started a little rough, and then once he settled in, he's been very good the rest of the way. Over to first, and once again, Hauk is back. <laughs> Was that the coach? No, that's the that's it's a thing the kids do from the bench ultimately. And what they're doing is usually they'll go, never seen it, then never seen it twice, never uh, seen it three times. There's a called strike three. Ellison is out on strikes. And there's one away with a runner on first, and the catcher John Watson is the batter. Walked and scored in the first and flew out to the center fielder. One away, runner on at first. John Watson's only had three at bats coming into the to this game. He was hitting, he went one for three, so he's hitting 333. And he skies one out to left field. Left fielder going back, puts the glove up and makes the catch. Does Chris McLean 
And there are two away. They'll bring him back to the top of the order and Patrick Whalen, who has walked twice and drove in a run with the second walk and then bounced out to the shortstop. We're in the bottom of the fifth. And remember, this first game is a seven inning game. Hilbert in a great spot leading nine to nothing. Here's the pitch. Woo, went behind him and the runner goes down to second and he's in with a dive. And if he didn't dive, Connor Houck might have been off to third base. I actually thought it hit him at first. Yeah, you know, I, I was wondering about that because it looked awfully close too. Looked like it was behind him though. So runner on second now with two away and a ball one count. Ripped foul down the right side. Oh, Patrick Whalen way in front of that one, but he got a good chunk of it and sent it soaring down the right field line. Two outs, runner on second, nine to nothing Hilbert. We're in the bottom of the fifth. The pitch outside for a ball. Two and one on Whalen. Kronk pitches. Up high, ball three. Three and one. The pitch. Called strike two. Count goes full. Yeah, this is a very dangerous part of the lineup for Hilbert, right? Their one, two, three, four hitters can really, they got power, they can hit for average, they can do so many different things. So Hauk goes back to second base as Kronk steps off and looked like he might have wanted to turn that way. And there's ball four. And for the third time today, Patrick Whalen has drawn a base on balls. And his on base percentage is something, <laughs> I'll tell you that. That's going up. Yeah. And that'll bring up Jack Duffick, who has walked twice and second time drove in a run and flew out to the center fielder. And for those of you who may be just joining us, walks have really, really, really hurt Wells in this game. The starter, Jonathan Hayes, couldn't find the strike zone. There's a strike in the outside corner by Zach Kronk. And Hilbert put up eight in the bottom half of the first inning. And now they have first and second with two away here in the bottom of the fifth. D.H. Jack Duffick at the plate. Here's the pitch. Foul down the right side. That will get out of play. The pitch to Duffick, lined into right center field, and that'll drop for a base hit. Here comes one run to score. Throw going over to third. Nice stop by the third baseman, but that'll get Duffick into second base with an RBI double, and it's ten to nothing. Hilbert, as Connor Hout comes around to score. Great base running there. Did you see? You saw where the throw went. As as Duffick saw the throw go to third base, you saw him take over to second. Very smart base running. You've been able to get yourself into scoring position. So 10 to nothing, Hilbert. John Riviere Vejas is the batter with runners at second and third. The pitch. Foul down the right side. Runners lead from second and third. The pitch. Just off the outside corner, the count evens at one and one. Tell you, that's a, a pitch a coach wants. They really do. When you hit that, or even just miss that corner, that's a pitch that you want. The pitch. That's in there for a strike on the inside corner. One and two. The pitch. Ooh, just missed. 
I'll tell you, I, I, I'd be taking a lot of these. Uh, you know what I mean? I would absolutely be telling my team to swing at some of these. And, and obviously, but you got to give the hitters credit. Flying down the left field line. That'll drop in for a base hit. Two runs will score. And it's a two-run base hit for John Riviere Vejas. And it's 12 to nothing, Hilbert. Remember when I talked about Duffick right there getting into scoring position, how good base running that is? Yep. Look at what just happened there. He just got himself home because of what he did needed to do on the base pass right there. Billy LaBello is the batter. He took the spot of Dustin Hendricks. He will bat left-handed with a runner on first and two out. There goes the runner, and there will be no throw. It will be a stolen base. So a ball one to LaBello. Bellows hitting 325 on this season. He's also got five RBIs. The pitch. Low one outside. Hilbert up 12 to nothing. Two down in the bottom of the fifth. Another runner in scoring position. The pitch to LaBello. Ripped. Oh, off the glove of the first baseman. And nobody is there to cover first base. Here comes the runner to the plate. And he is safe at home. Some great base running there. And it's 13 to nothing. What a great effort by Zach Young, but he couldn't bring it in. Well, did you see he just missed the tag. He the great dive and reach right there by the runners. He went underneath that tag. You saw the swipe go right over his head. So it's 13 to nothing. LaBello drives in a run, and it's Jairo Santos, the batter. And he's two for three on the day. Runner on at first, the pitch. A great effort by the first baseman, Zach Young. I thought he almost came up with that. Yeah, and I'd still give that a base hit right so there. And, and, and you could see, this is the most hits they've had in an inning. Yes. There, and there's another one into left field. And Hilbert will have first and second with two away. So LaBello and then Santos. That's the third hit of the day for Santos. And it'll bring up Nolan Evans, and we got a visit to the mound. As Kronk is getting knocked around just a little bit here in the bottom of the fifth. Well, while they have this conversation, how about you and I take a break? It is Hilbert leading Wells 12 to nothing, and we're going to keep it right here. That was a quick visit. Sorry about that. So, Coach. Well, we can tell everybody who this game's brought to you by, though. It's brought to you by the Big Tree Inn. <laughs> Very familiar place to Buffalo Bills Come on, if fans. you're not going to the big tree and getting yourself some wings, you are crazy. Some of the best <laughs> wings in western New York, I'll tell you that. You better get over there and get some. Right down the street from Highmark Stadium and the new stadium, which is right across the street. And, and you remember we did our high school football preview show from the big tree in. This is Nolan Evans, the batter. Looking for his first hit of the day. Pitches outside, ball one, one and oh. LaBello and Santos, LaBello on at second. Santos leads from first. The pitch, ooh, high and tight and he hit him. And the bases are loaded. I think that's the first hit by pitch we've had today. Yeah, we've had a couple close ones yeah. where we thought they could have been, but no, you're right, it's uh, the first one. And, and now we're going to get that pitching change as the coach comes out for the second visit of the inning. He points to the bullpen. So we will take a break now. Hilbert leads this one 12 to nothing in the bottom of the fifth. Hilbert College Baseball is brought to you by the Big Tree Inn. And you are watching Buffalo Sports Page. Logistics Plus is a global transportation provider headquartered in Erie, PA, with locations worldwide, including right here in Western New York. Logistics Plus is consistently recognized as a fast-growing transportation and logistics company, great supply chain partner, top freight broker, leading project cargo manager, and a great place to work. With a strong passion for excellence, our 500-plus employees put the plus in logistics. For an efficient, personal approach for all of your transportation needs, more information about our Buffalo office is available at logisticsplus.com slash buffalo. Western New York Immediate Care's new locations are now open. Whether you've suffered a minor injury or just aren't feeling well, Western New York Immediate Care provides safe, quick, high-quality care at an affordable cost. 
Our clinicians are trained to diagnose and treat non-life-threatening injuries and illnesses and are equipped with on-site x-ray and labs to help you feel better, faster. With four convenient locations open seven days a week, Western New York Immediate Care is here to help when and where you need us. Visit us online to learn more. Connor Houck is the batter, and that ball bounces in the dirt. The new pitcher is Cameron Heyman. So the DH has decided to been <laughs> told to come in and pitch. Bases loaded, two down, bottom of the fifth. And I, I had Kronk with 74 pitches when he came out. The pitch in there for a strike in the outside corner, and the count evens at one and one. Hilbert having a big day at the plate. Swing and a miss. Good pitch there from Heyman. The pitch. A little bit low and in the dirt. Hauk lays off of it. Connor Houck batted around again in this inning. Here's the pitch. High foul fly out of play. No, Hilbert in complete control of this one. That eight run first inning really did help. And they've added to it. That pitch is in there for a called strike three and the inning is over after five complete. Hilbert with the big lead. Hilbert College Baseball is being brought to you by the Big Tree Inn here on Buffalo Sports Page. What does it mean when people say America is a land of opportunity? It means the power to discover. To redefine yourself. To improve yourself. To challenge yourself. To realize there's more in you than you ever knew that you could do. It means giving people an open field to explore what they do best. With the best tools. The best training. The best technology in the world. We bring out the best in the people who serve. So you can be all you can be. set to go back to work for Hilbert. He's got a 13-run lead here as we start the bottom, uh, top half of the sixth inning. Aaron Izquierdo, the catcher, will lead off. Cam Heyman now pitching is the scheduled batter after that, and then Lance Phillips. So Ronnie Mortz had a great day as we start the top half of the sixth inning. And they've got, look where the first baseman is playing. High fly ball, well hit to center field. The center fielder going back and puts the glove up and makes the catch for the first out of the inning. There is one away as Nolan Evans gets makes the put out. And that'll bring up Cam Heyman, now pitching. He was the DH. Is this a pinch out? No, this is 22. Not 23? Yeah, this is 22. Okay, well, I'll look and see who that is. 
take the ball. 22 is, oh, it's, it's Cameron Heyman, my bad. It's still Heyman, uh, Bradley Perry is 23. There's a swing and a miss. So did Perry, maybe Perry came in to pitch. Did, we, did I say that wrong? I could have, my apologies. Here's the pitch to Heyman, in there for a strike. Cam Heyman on the day, called out on strikes, bounced out the first baseman to the shortstop in a force play. Here's the pitch. High and away for a ball. Still good spot. You want it up out of the zone, right? And I like the high pitch because it's the pitch that you see the most well as a hitter, and that's when you're trying to get a hitter to go after it. Ooh. Down low and in tight. Goes back to the backstop. And Ronnie Mort gets a new ball from the home plate umpire. One out, nobody on. Top half of the sixth inning, 13 to nothing. Hilbert. The only thing Coach is saying right now, I do not want any walks. There's a long drive to center field, and what a catch. Great catch there by Nolan Evans coming in and making the catch. So that's two balls hit to the center fielder to start the top of the six. And that one, he came racing in, slid, and made the catch. Two outs and nobody on. Batter now is Lance Phillips. Struck out swinging and bounced out to third. The pitch, in there for a strike, nothing in one. The pitch, bouncing ball towards short, glove by Santos, the throw to first is in time, and it's a one, two, three inning for Ronnie Mort. No runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left after five and a half. Hilbert 13, Wells nothing. Hilbert College Baseball is being brought to you by the Big Tree Inn. And you are watching Buffalo Sports Page. 13 to nothing, Hilbert after five and a half. New York Immediate Care's new locations are now open. Whether you've suffered a minor injury or just aren't feeling well, Western New York Immediate Care provides safe, quick, high quality care at an affordable cost. Our clinicians are trained to diagnose and treat non-life-threatening injuries and illnesses and are equipped with on-site x-ray and labs to help you feel better, faster. With four convenient locations open seven days a week, Western New York Immediate Care is here to help when and where you need us. Visit us online to learn more. Logistics Plus is a global transportation provider headquartered in Erie, PA, with locations worldwide, including right here in Western New York. Logistics Plus is consistently recognized as a fast-growing transportation and logistics company, great supply chain partner, top freight broker, leading project cargo manager, and a great place to work. With a strong passion for excellence, our 500-plus employees put the plus in logistics. For an efficient, personal approach for all of your transportation needs, more information about our Buffalo office is available at logisticsplus.com slash buffalo. Bradley Perry on the mound. I had mistakenly called him Heyman, and I apologize for that. As we start the bottom half of the sixth inning, and the leadoff batter will be the third baseman, Alex Ellison. And Ellison, he's hitting 274 on the season. Here's the pitch from Perry out of Dryden, New York. He bounces that one in the dirt. And Ellison is actually a uh, graduate of St. Mary's of Lancaster here locally. The pitch. There's a line drive, and that'll drop in for a base hit for Ellison. His second hit of the day. We've done some great girls and boys basketball games from St. Mary's of Lancaster. So I've seen a couple of thousand point scores. There's some great rivalry games there. And One of their most notables may be Shea Chesky, who's sitting at uh, Penn State right now. Yes, she is. She was a lot of fun to watch. What happened to the big guy from Italy who went to uh, do you? He's, 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 he's still, still there, there yeah. He's still there? Huh? Hopefully he's doing well. Very nice young man. High pop-up, way up in the air off the bat of John Watson. And getting under it and making the catch is the first baseman, Zach Young, for the first out of the inning. In fair territory. That'll take us back to the top of the order. And Patrick Whalen, who's walked three times, has bounced out to the shortstop. His on-base percentage <laughs> coming in was 486. Well, it's got to be up yeah. over 500 <laughs> right now. <laughs> 
Big left-handed batter. Perry fires. He fouls it out of play. And we're not going to do interviews in between game one and game two, so we will have post-game interviews once all the games are done, the two games are done. Here's the pitch. Down low for a ball. Nice stop by Izio Kierdo. I got to tell you, this is going to be a tough one, huh? Yes. I think the only one I'm going to give away is I think Mort's got to be one of your guys. I was, I was just going to say I know one guy you got to talk to. Here's the pitch. A little low for a ball. Two and one. 13 to nothing. Hilbert leading this one. Ellison leads off a of first. One away. The pitch. High fly ball. Shallow center field. Center fielder coming on. Makes the catch to Zach Odom for the second out of the inning. And that'll bring up Jack Duffick. And Jack walked in the first, walked his second time up, drove in a run, flew out to center field, got a base hit and a run batted in in that fifth inning. So I apologize. It was 486 on base percentage is actually Duffick right here. Ah. He, Whalen, is 552 Ooh. for an on base percentage. Wow. As Duffick takes a strike, nothing in one. So he may have needed that right there just to make sure that he uh, keeps his average. <laughs> yeah, right. Here's the pitch. Down low for a ball. Ellison let off with a base hit. Watson popped up. Whelan flew out. And here is Duffy. The pitch. That's in there for a strike. One and two on Jack Duffy. The pitch, swing and a miss, strike three, he struck him out. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. After six complete, it is Hilbert 13, Wells nothing. Hilbert College Baseball is brought to you by the Big Tree Inn on Buffalo Sports Page. What does it mean when people say America is a land of opportunity? It means the power to discover. To redefine yourself. To improve yourself. To challenge yourself. To realize there's more in you than you ever knew that you could do. It means giving people an open field to explore what they do best. With the best tools. The best training. The best technology in the world. We bring out the best in the people who serve. So you can be all you can be. What does it mean when people's Brandon Hediger, the new pitcher, he comes on to pitch here in the top half of the seventh inning, and his first pitch is inside for a ball. And it's 1-0 and on Lance Phillips. Here's the pitch. That's in there for a strike. No doubt about that one. He just poured that fastball in there. Here's the tall tale sign. 132 pitches thrown by Wells, 79 right now by Hilbert. There's a pitch for a strike, and it's one and two. I mean, obviously, the score, you know, is a tall tale sign, but where did we get to that point? Why did we get to that point? And that, to me, is one of the biggest reasons right there. As you are correct, and that pitch is fouled back onto the screen. This batter is actually Alan Compress. 
from Hackensack, Maywood, New Jersey, Hackensack High School. He's taking the place of Lance Phillips. And here's the pitch. And no. There's an appeal to the umpire at first base. He said he did not go around, so it's a ball. Here's the pitch. And that one's off the outside corner for a ball. And you always like, right, my, my references, but this is a South Towns Travel League player right here, Stu, that actually played in the league that I had when he was much younger. Here's the 3-2 pitch, bouncing ball toward the shortstop, glove by Jairo Santos, throws to first in time for the out. And there's one away in the top half of the seventh inning, so let's remember this is a scheduled seven inning game and we've got another pinch hitter here is scheduled batter Zach Young but that is John Valenote except uh, I might be in the wrong spot here I think I, I missed a player somewhere this is Valenote who's 0 for 2 on the day takes a strike nothing in one from Henniger Nice off speed right there. He's got some good velocity. He, you know, you're looking at what we've seen today. He's been one of the faster pitchers that we've seen so far today. Henniger winds it up and fires. That one off the catcher's glove, goes back to the screen. Now, you coached Henniger then? No. No, he just did. was in my in league. In the league. Yeah, his father was a coach in the league too. Did a great job of building the program down in the arcade area, the Muck Dogs. That's a strike. I love the nickname, the Muck Dogs. Yeah. I always did too. The Batavia Muck Dogs, weren't they the Muck Dogs? They yeah, they the were. They, they still, they the still go by the Muck Dogs. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, they're they're an independent team now, is what they are. Here's the pitch. That's a ball to Valenote. Valenote on the day, struck out swinging, safe on an error by the shortstop. All our numbers, by the way, are unofficial. It's Tom and me trying to keep track of things. And believe me, Tom has more than enough to, for one man to do. Bouncing ball towards short. Gloved by the shortstop, Santos. Throw to first in plenty of time. Two up and two down. Two plays for the shortstop. And Hilbert is now one away from the win. Chris McLean is the batter. So you know oh, we got a, we've got another pinch hitter here. You know we've been talking about that outside pitch all day? Yes, sir. You see where that uh, he's been sitting? He's been sitting on that outside corner. If you're not going to go opposite field with that outside pitch, you're going to roll over ground balls, which is exactly what he's done for the first two batters. Batter is A.J. Campy. That pitch is in tight. Ball one, one and oh. Two down, top of the seventh. Hilbert up 13 to nothing. An eight-run first inning keyed this one. Hilbert looking for the W in game one of our doubleheader. That's in there on the outside corner for a strike and the count evens at one and one. And for those of you listening, there we are not gonna have probably a four o'clock start the way this is going. Yeah, pitch is low, two and one. So yes. please watch out. They're telling us it's gonna be a half hour from when the game ends. So if we're already at two outs in this one, if the game ends, you're gonna look for about a half an hour, we're gonna start the next game up. And there's a ground ball sent into right field for a base hit by A.J. Campy. Whalen couldn't get that one, and it'll bring us back to the top of the batting order and Max Odom. And Odom on the day flew out to left, flew out to right, bounced to short. Two outs and a runner on first. Ben and Henniger on in relief of Ronnie Mort. Mort was outstanding all day. And Henniger looks in for the sign. And fires in there for a strike at the letters. Nothing in one. Henniger checks the runner. Campy. Pitches ripped on the ground to Ellison at third on the one hop. Throws to first in time, and the ball game is over. Nice play there by Alex Ellison to end it. Hilbert wins it 13 to nothing. So, Tom, after a an eight-run first inning, Hilbert simply took care of business. They yeah. added five runs and held them off the scoreboard. And you really look at it, what do we say? I think it was the sixth inning was their best inning hitting-wise, actually, with the bats. The first couple innings was really about the way they saw the baseball, made sure they didn't make any mistakes, got runners on, and really took advantage of it. Well, that'll do it for game one. Hilbert wins it 13 to nothing. want to thank our... Producer and color man and jack of all trades and master of all of them, Mr. Tom Prince. 
and our photographer, Russ Battaglia. My name is Stu Boyer. I want to thank all of you for watching. We'll be back with Game 2 in about a half an hour. I want to remind you one last time that Hilbert College Baseball is brought to you by the Big Tree Inn here on Buffalo Sports Page. My name is Stu Boyer. Have a good night, everybody.